these guys got started pretty early this morning and I have a full-on nineteen seventies tripod out there with my iPhone. I got it all hooked up so we will be able to see the final product. <laughs> Got some news. I'm going to start this new series. It's going to be me interviewing musicians in Berlin. I'm going to ask them a few questions where how they songwrite, advice for other musicians, where they got started. Today is my first interview. I'm going to have Charlotte Guiers here today. She is a singer-songwriter in Berlin, and I'm going to interview her. I have to turn this place into a proper interview style studio. That's gonna take me a while while I'm watching the reveal. It's looking good. Okay, this is the setup. I am ready to shoot the first White Couch music interview. That's what I'm gonna call it. Charlotte is on her way here with a couple friends. First music One of your own songs at this point? At time. Like one of your own songs? No, it was a song from Whitney Houston. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so you recorded a Whitney Houston song yes. like on your, like a, like was it No, really professional. Player? I recorded it professional. <laughs> Okay, Charlotte just left. That was a lot of fun. I'll probably get to editing that this weekend and then post it next week. I'm going to get to refilming these promotion videos and because I want to get those sent out ASAP. Um, I'm not going to get 10,000 subscribers without working. Okay, I'm going to meet Roberto now. Roberto is a friend. I used to work with Roberto, and he is a YouTuber, he's a marketer, and he's a videographer. So, all the three things that I need advice on, doing this vlog, doing marketing, and doing YouTube, he's a super nice guy, and he's super generous for going to coffee with me and gonna give me advice. Are you recording or not? I always record. <laughs> I'm always nice, on record. Nice, good job, good job. Um, Shall we? Have you been waiting long? No, no, no. Okay. The way people usually look at this, nobody is actually. <laughs> Have a good night, man. Have a good you weekend, too. too. Nice. Well, uh, uh, thanks so much again. You're yeah. You're yeah. Super excited. Yeah. See you, yeah. dude. So I'm super excited. Learned so many cool things. Roberto is awesome. He just laid it all out for me. And uh, I have my work cut out for me right now. I know some of you have been asking um, what happened to my online busking experiment. Um, that is still going to happen, but I thought it was the weekend and that most people are out doing things on a Friday night and Saturday night, so I'm going to approach that coming into next week to experiment on the online busking side of things. Have you heard about the free world? Is it true? I'm going to meet some friends now from Shopify to have a couple drinks, and I haven't done that in a while, so that should be fun. I'm a cyclist in Berlin. Yeah, man. Okay. This is how humiliating this is. I walk down the street like this and I talk to myself. I don't think like I'd this. do it. And people look at me and laugh. But I have gotten used to it a little bit. Because and your arm's getting really strong. Yeah, my arm is jacked. <laughs>
one of my oldest and dearest friends. His name is Peter and he is competing in the regional level of CrossFit Games. So like the fittest people of North America and I'm just about to watch him live online. Peter Shaw, he's 11th in Canada East. CrossFit in CR, Ottawa, Canada. That's Peter. That's my buddy. CrossFit is pretty insane. They are doing a 300 meter row. No, sorry. A three, three kilometer row, 300 double unders, which is like a skip two times under your feet, and then they're gonna they're running three miles. So they're doing this without any breaks. I think I'm gonna do CrossFit in the month of June for 30 days straight. Um, looking at what these guys are doing now. I just feel pain and I'm not sure if I'm looking forward to that.